Hey, welcome or welcome back. Today, the season three finale for the boys. This is episode eight, The Instant White Hot Wild. Okay, so thoughts on that last episode are back there. Big takeaways for me are, holy shit, Soldier Boy is Homelander's genetic donor. I won't say father because there wasn't any sexual interaction. It was just a genetic thing, but he is the genetic donor, the paternal father. The, what is that going to do to Homelander's psyche, which is already... It, it's never been... It's never been good. <laughs> okay? Especially, like, he's got his mommy issues. He's got the... You know, now he's the boss, and he's finding out that this guy, who he's worshipped his whole life, watched his movies. You know, he said, I'm I'm your replacement. You know, like... Like, like that... He was talking about his dad. <laughs> his, his father. His... The genetic father. I don't know what this was. I just woke up. So there's Butcher and uh, Huey both on the V, the temp V. We found out three to five doses is lethal, and I'm pretty sure Butcher's done it a few times at least. He's probably already on three or four. You know, A-Train's got the new asshole's heart. Mave is alive, you know, uh, <laughs> somewhere. Noir is, uh, you know, dealing with his internal strife and what he's going to do about Soldier Boy. There's just, there's a lot here, a lot of characters across the soups, the regulars, everyone, and uh, it's, it's just been a pleasure to see them all start out, move through the story, and develop as they go. Needless to say, this show has been a lot of fun to watch. I'm, I'm glad I finally, you know, started watching the show when I did. I wish maybe I should have watched it sooner, but the, the storytelling, the acting, the characters, the violence, like, the... There are, it's just a weird juxtaposition of like silly and goofy and off the wall, but then like also very well acted and then very serious moments. Like it's, it's, so yeah, the show has been a treat. I don't really know what to expect from this finale episode. Uh, a throwdown of sorts. Like, are they going to take down Homelander? Is Homelander going to win? Is there going to be a stalemate? Is there going to be a cliffhanger? Like, I'm not sure how they're going to wrap this up. I know I seem a little groggy right now. It is the morning, but I'm armed with caffeine. No big deal. We'll get through it. Just hesitant to start this because I don't want it to end, but, uh, you know, all things have to. So, Season 3, Episode 8, The Instant White Hot Wild, the current season and series finale for the boys. Here we go. Ryan, back on the scene. Oh, I knew your fastball would come in sooner or later. I thought we were going to do the invincible thing where you, you throw the baseball around the world and catch. She been treating you all right? And Grace? Yeah, she's nice. I can hear those clumsy fingers of yours slipping around on that screen. Get rid of it now. <laughs> oh, I thought it was a gun. He, he's right. Going for a screen. Going for a phone. When you're as strong as... We are. Accidents happen. Things break. And sometimes they are the things that you love the most. But, but I'm so no, worried for Grace. Nobody. She's just bad. No. I'm not going anywhere. I will always be here. I'm waiting for someone to yell cut, and then it's all not. <laughs> Didn't you know shouting at the other people that'll convince them that you're right and their point of view is the one that's that's off? Isn't it crazy? Mm. Where's Soldier Boy? You mean ever since he told us he was supposed to kill his own son? Showing signs of consciousness. <laughs> Crank the gas. Let him out. Like she had that Amazon warrior thing going on. <laughs> you put the world's deadliest nerve agent in a $10 bottle of Starlight's Wish. I must say the smell has improved. <laughs> yes, yeah, he's got a Snoop Dogg fucking t-shirt on now. They're always rocking the bands or the groups or the people. 
The most bitter is this, to know so much. To control so little. I've read a fucking book, all right? <laughs> cannot... Frenchie's always trying to be the philosophizer. Get back on the fucking exit pro. <laughs> Deep and I had to move Maeve out of the tower. That's your idea. You were there. I, I wasn't. Oh, yeah, and she killed everyone in the truck, and now she's free. Oh, fuck. Armed with his buddies. <laughs> Let's fuck up, soldier boy. <laughs> they train smooths. What? Wait a whoa, 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 whoa. I only was that a pack of cigarettes. Is is a train, Mister Cardio Athlete Runner Man, advertising cigarettes? You really are a spin image of my little brother. What? Is this a four? Yeah, four is own good. I'm really fucking sorry, Nate. I spent the rest of my life making it up to you. Did you kill Blue Hawk? What? No, that was... Friction on the ground is what killed him. I'm sorry. I'll make it right. How? Every time you try, you make it worse. Bridget, just, just go, man. Just go. Just get out. That was a very well acted emotional scene, but I I, I think it's because I'm early in the morning. I don't have the words for it. I'm, I'm sorry. Me. Did he tell you? Tell me what? That temp V is fatal. If you shot up anymore, you'd probably be dead right now. Literally every neuron in your brain is screaming, I told you so, so why don't you just say it before your head explodes? Oh my god! I fucking told you so. <laughs> she kept it together so well. <laughs> Hey, Maeve. Good to see you again. Glad you're okay. It's like you wear a neon sign that says, Raw dog me, I'm a bottom. I'm, I'm allowed oh. to catch up. <laughs> she, she just... She, <laughs> the way that she completely destroys him. Oh, All the two conversations they've had is amazing. <laughs> Fucking Frenchie, dude. Always. Oh, I gotta put on subtitles now. <laughs> I have done my part. Yeah, she's not wrong. I feel like he's like been high this whole time. So put them in a room together. Are they going to fight or fucking hug? We don't know. All right, I'm turning subtitles off whenever Kimiko is not in the scene. So that the subtitles don't ruin a thumbnail possibility, which has happened in the past. There are a couple thousand people in that building. I mean, if he pulls a hero gasm, he's gonna take the whole fucking place down. And we take down Soldier Boy before he gets to Homeland. He used a belt, did he? Never laid a hand on me. He couldn't be bothered. Oh. He said it was a disappointment. And they got me into Dr. Vought's compound V trials. He said I took a shortcut. Wow. <laughs> that a real man wouldn't have cheated. So Billy got his ass beat, and uh, Soldier Boy you, you got kids? obviously <laughs> had some emotional baggage, some living up to problems. I'm Linda, ain't yours. No, really. He's the only blood I've got left. It don't matter. He didn't name him, didn't raise him. He's my father. I didn't believe him at first. Did you know that I had a father out there? I'm not pleased. Black Noir has been one of my favorites. As ununderstandable and mysterious as he was. And unless he broke his goddamn spine, he might he might be able to survive this. Don't worry, Irving. You want that temp shit, Butcher? Huh? What happens if I pull this trigger? Go on. Do it. He had the crazy eyes. That's <laughs> some of the craziest eyes I've ever seen. This is not gonna happen. Annie, I don't want to hurt you. But I will. It's just a fucking party. Everyone is here. I'm Starlight, and I'm telling you that you need to evacuate the tower now. Nobody's evacuating anything. You have to project strength. Oh, yes, of right. course. At the cost That's of everyone. Nice. Yeah. Hey, is everything, is everything okay with Noir? He was keeping secrets from me. How could you kill 
one of your own kind in cold blood. You are going to tell the world that we... You killed Black Noir, isn't he one of your own? Like, one of your kind? If Dakota Bob taps me for VP, I'd be honored. We haven't seen Newman in a while. I feel like his head's about to explode. This show, what is it gonna do? Oh, the deep is drowning that guy. Okay, that's what Homelander wanted him to do. I'm not here to take credit. These boys here, they're the real heroes. What the Jerry's doing uh, here is... Yeah, Homelander's old line, too. Weak? Um, you. I know. You're a fucking disappointment. Leave him alone! Get out of here, Ryan! Do we let this happen or not? This is like the end of the third Pirates of the Caribbean movie where everybody is there and has loyalties and blackmail on everyone else there. Wait, Homelander fucked your wife? And you want to save the brat? The hell's wrong with you? I made a promise. He's right fucking there. And now you blink, stand down. Fuck you! Where's Maeve right now? Hey, asshole! They're in a different league with their power sets, but she's just trying to slow him down, distract him. Huey, Starlight, who's gonna do the save here? I was just going through the options, man. Everyone's... <clears throat> Attention. There has been a terrorist threat called into the building. Please leave as quickly as you can. This is not a drill. This is not a test. Yeah, still no Newman in this episode. I would have thought she'd come back in the play. <laughs> what? If it bleeds, we can kill it. <sighs> ah, fuck no. Depth perception gone. Now on that one side, you can't see as much for incoming. Damn. <laughs> Soldier Boy's a complete monster. I'm surprised his old team was able to subdue him. Oh, giving her more juice, okay. Fucking Jean Grey is the phoenix over here. Yeah. Woo! Fucking Thanos mode, everybody jump on him. You're just another racist piece of shit we can't seem to get rid of. This is for my family. I don't know if Maeve's gonna make it, but I'm glad she's fucking giving him the work. I'm not going back in that fucking box. There is just so many things happening, so many fucking people in this place. Hi, 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 hey, hey. This is that anime moment where, like, everyone has a moment to think about what's going on. So we've lost Maeve and Noir from the Seven in just this episode. And he didn't use the V, that's the thing. He could have chose to do it, or he could crank up the power. Do you work? Ryan, look at me. Did he say, do you work? <laughs> are are you broken? But his soldier boy dead. Wait a minute in that explosion. He survived every other explosion he did. Please. These inform material right here. She was one of America's greatest superheroes. A role model for little girls everywhere. Sacrifice when she stopped Russian radicalized soldier boy. When she stopped Russian radicalized soldier boy. Wow. That fucking spin. How long ago? Months, 12, 18 on the outside. Well, you can kind of fuck off then. I mean, everyone has a day where they only have a year left to live. It's just generally, they don't know that day. Truth is, superheroes aren't always good. When 
of them, soldier boy, killed a lot of our family members a long time ago. You look like shit. Fuck off, Smurfette. <laughs> <laughs> she is wearing all blue. Yeah. The blood. Slowly, painfully, like every other powerless schmuck in America. I wonder though if she could take more of the V, just like uh, Kimiko did to get her shit back. Thank you. For everything. I could jump. You can fucking fly. Can uh, Noir be alive somehow, you know, in some capacity? <laughs> but her face, like, she is, looks like Maeve in or out of costume, but you couldn't look at her and be like, you don't look like Maeve, you know? <laughs> She's alive! I would have thought they would have. Homelander would have killed her, or after the call, maybe. Putting him back on ice. <laughs> what you doing, Deep? In too deep, my journey to freedom! Ah! Out of this bitch! <laughs> Double knot okay. and bag your trash if you're gonna be working here. Butcher isn't gonna like it. Butcher can suck Butcher. My sheet. So what happened to I the seven? What happened to Vaught? Maeve is gone. Me too. Starlight seems to be quitting. The war is dead. Oh fuck. After the tragic drowning of presumptive VP candidate Lamar Bishop, what would you like to say to the American It's people? gotta be as the next vice president. Mm-hmm. Delish. Delish. I couldn't figure out why we didn't so see her. Man. That bitch is definitely the look of. Do you want to meet someone? Someone very special to me? Ryan. Yeah? yeah. All right, come on down here, buddy. Now he's doing for him what Soldier Boy would have done for him. Give the son the spotlight. He's my son, Ryan. Fuck you, fascist! Splatter against the background. Yeah. Okay, that's murder. You all saw that, right? Are we cool with this? Are you realizing? Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, no. Oh no, all right. Fuck you, Tom. Mmm, that smirk. Feels bad. Fuck! And there it is. That's the season. Wow. Okay. On to the outro. Calling all patriots. Let's show Homelander we've got his back and we're not going to let Starlight and her Starlight House of Horrors get away with trafficking children and drinking their adrenaline. It's time for real Americans to fight back. Join the home teamers and storm chasers tomorrow at Vault Square. Stand back and stand by. I think that should have been read in like a Alex Jones voice. Alright, so there it is. That was the finale. So much going on. In editing, I'll be able to pause, breathe, and analyze allegiances and loyalties and target switches. Like, shit was just all over the place. Judging by the last two scenes, we know that Newman is going to be a problem in Season 4, as is Ryan, now that he's being propped up by Homelander, and seemingly that the crowd is okay with violence. That's, you know, that's a shift in tone. Maeve is retired. Deep is eating his feelings away. A-Train is... I don't know, we, we only really saw him, I think, in that one scene with his brother, right? Did he come back in again? The boys are back in their office. It looks like Starlight is joining. I don't know what they're going to do with the Seven. Like, will next season have... Vaught has a new cast of the Seven with just, you know, the Deep and A-Train and then five new people here. <laughs> How are they going to do that? Mallory's alive. We saw her a little bit at the beginning with Ryan, and then at the end when Soldier Boy got put back on the ice. It's like the Lich King. It's in case of emergency, break ice, and then they, they have his story to tell. Gonna do it for me for now. Thank you all so much for being here. I'm looking forward to season four and hope you join me then. Thanks again, and goodbye.